Hello my friends, welcome back to another exciting video. Today I'm thrilled to share with you my latest project, a cap dump circuit with an automatic cutoff feature. In this experiment, we'll be using a 16 volt supercapacitor bank to simulate a charging battery. This setup will allow us to demonstrate some of the key features of this circuit. So, stay tuned as we dive into the details of this innovative creation. The voltmeter shows 12.3 volts on the supercapacitor bank, which is my cutoff set point, as indicated by the green LED. I'm using a DC motor to drain the voltage, causing the circuit to restart the charging cycle. In this circuit, we have a blue LED indicating the charging phase, a red LED for the capacitor dump, and a green LED signaling a full charge. We're starting with a power supply delivering almost 15 volts at 1.5 amps. This input, which amounts to 22.5 watts of power, is then boosted to 30 volts by a cost-effective DC-DC converter. This boosted power is used to charge a 63 volt, 44,000 microfarad capacitor bank. When the capacitor bank is fully charged, the energy is rapidly released into the output terminals at 24 volts and 4 amps resulting in an output power of 96 watts. This demonstrates the capacitor bank's ability to store energy and release it in a powerful burst, significantly amplifying the output power compared to the input power. What's cool about this circuit is that when the output is disconnected, the circuit effectively freezes, ensuring that it safely prevents any overcharging. Then, the circuit resumes its normal operation once the output is reconnected. Similarly, if I disconnect the boost converter, the same freeze and resume behavior occurs, maintaining the safety and efficiency of the system. I've been searching online and on YouTube for a long time for a circuit like this, but without any luck. The next stage is to convert this design into a printed circuit board and make them available for sale. It's my way of helping those who wish to experiment with this technology, but don't have access to it. These circuits would be great to pair with solar or wind energy systems to maintain a battery bank. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or opinions about this. Please like, share, and subscribe to help support the channel. I haven't posted in a while, but trust me, I've been busy with a few other projects that are just as cool. Thanks for watching.